and Joseph, his brothers turned on him. His brothers sold him because they felt they were envious of him. They were, we use the word jealousy. They were uh, 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 jealous of him. They felt like the father loved him more than he loved them. Some of us feel that way. Some of us felt that way. Growing up as children, we felt that like mama loved this one more than the other, or daddy loved this one more than the other. That's not unusual. In some cases, it may be true. Somebody tell the Lord, thank you. So, in the midst of this, Joseph was sold into bondage, and he went into Egypt. And, and he was imprisoned at the, the false charge of rape. He was imprisoned there as a youngster, as a teenager. And he was imprisoned many years. But God will deliver you. God, see, see, he could, he could have thought that, that in that instance of prison, that it was all over. He could have thought that there's no purpose for my life. But you got to always remember, if you have a relationship with God, that is a purpose for your life. To everything there is a season and a time for every purpose under the heaven. So whatever you're going through right now, it may look like doom. It may look like devastation. It may look like darkness. It may look like there is nothing good going to come out of it. But God still has a plan for you. That's what Isaiah was trying to sing to you. That's what he was trying to tell you. That now when, when you accept God in your life, God has a plan for you. Plan. That plan may not be what you want it to be. May not be what you materialize it to be. But in due time, God will reveal that plan that he has for you. So, so Joseph's in prison. He is charged with one of the most serious crimes that a person could be charged with. He was charged with rape. He was innocent. He was set up. But in the midst of it, God had a plan. Uh, isn't God good that, that he has a will uh, that supersedes the will of man? Uh, the Bible tells us that whom God has called, he's also predestinated. It was already predestinated, uh, foretold. It was already designed. It was an intellectual design. And that Joseph would go and he would be charged and he would go in prison because God had a purpose for him. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Uh, he had a purpose for Joseph. Now, even in the midst of the trouble that he was in. Uh, God has a purpose for each and every one of us. Uh, even in the midst of the trouble that we see. Now, hallelujah. Glory be to God. Uh, I want you to know that Joseph uh, uh, remained faithful to God. And while he was there, he met uh, a baker and a butler. And uh, they had a dream. And he had a gift. His gift was the interpretation of dreams. How many know your gift will make room for you? Help the Holy Ghost. Each of us have gifts. Uh, whether we recognize it or not, uh, whether we use it for God or not, uh, God has given us gifts, uh, and he gave Joseph a gift, uh, and his gift was to interpret dreams, uh, help the Holy Ghost, uh, I tell you, God is a miracle worker, uh, 
there and the midst of it. He interpret the butler's dream. Hallelujah. And the butler was restored. He was in prison too. Ah, the king had imprisoned the butler and the baker because they didn't do their duty. They didn't follow the instructions of the king. And the king got angry. And the king put him in prison along with Joseph, the accused. Uh, rapists uh, help my holy ghost uh, uh, but one day uh, the butler had a dream uh, and the baker had one simultaneously uh, hallelujah uh, and the butler uh, his dream uh, 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 Joseph interpreted uh, in the favor uh, and the king restored the butler uh, he told the butler don't forget about about me. Hallelujah. Because of what I did. Because of the interpretation. Now, the baker saw that the butler's dream was favorably interpreted. So he said, I'm going to tell you my dream. And uh, Joseph interpreted the baker's dream and told the baker, said, uh, Unfortunately, you won't be hanged. <laughs> God will have mercy on whom he has mercy. He'll have favor on whom he has favor. Amen. Maybe the baker wouldn't have told uh, the, uh, the king about Joseph, but guess what? The butler eventually told him. He didn't tell him right away. He didn't get restored, but when the king had a dream, he said, I know someone that can interpret it. He interpreted my dream and the baker's dream. And mine was favorable. The king had no one to interpret that dream. I know I'm getting a long ways to where I'm trying to go. Mm, dreams are important, people of God. Sometimes God is trying to talk to you through your dream. Somebody didn't have a dream last night. I had a dream while sleeping down in my room. I know y'all too young to remember that. Last night I had a dream while sleeping down in my room. All right, we'll stop there. We'll stop there. I, I just, I just had to sing that song there. Look, look, look. So, so they had a dream. And in the midst of the dream, he told the, 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 the king, and the king said, where is this Joseph? And Joseph came uh, and stood before the king. They had to clean him up, wash him up. Uh, he had no doubt been stinking, uh, no doubt unkept, uh, um, but they cleaned him up. How many know God will clean up uh, what you messed up? Yeah. And God will give you a new start. Lord have mercy. Hallelujah. I, 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 I'm trying to show you what God will do. How God is a miracle worker. Uh, this man that was accused of rape, uh, who was in prison, now stood before the king and to interpret the king's dream. He did such a good job in his interpretation that the king found favor with him. And guess what? He went to, from prison to second in charge. He became the governor of Egypt and he had more power. Some books and power more than everyone else but the king. God will elevate you in the midst of trials, but don't give up, don't give in, don't go in the town, don't help the Holy Ghost, don't stop. Now, no matter how bad it gets, no doubt he had anywhere from a life sentence 
to probably 30 to 40 years. But God delivered you. I haven't researched the evidence to see what, how long people were in jail, but I know what the, you'll be in jail today for charge rape. Be sentenced. Praise the Lord. You might never come out. Somebody tell the Lord thank you. Thank you. Now, Joseph interprets this dream. And in the midst of interpreting the dream, he gives the king a plan to help the people. A famine's coming. They're, they're in prosperity. They're in prosperity. But just remember this. If you're in prosperity now, it's not going to last. Everybody got quiet when I said it. If, if you got a cash flow now and it's just coming through, it's going to come for a season. Uh-oh. And the season going to be long, but eventually that season going to change to another season. You might be in summer, but eventually it's going to come fall. From fall, you will eventually have winter. Uh-oh. And you in winter, you will have a season of spring. And after spring, you won't have summer. Hallelujah. So I want you to be wise when your season of prosperity is among you. Yes, yes, so O.C. Shelley been preaching with us and teaching us about being wise and making good decisions during months, years, decades of prosperity. Hallelujah. Yes. I don't know if you've seen it or not, but gas prices are getting ready to go above four. I don't know if you've been to the market or not, but what you paid for some chicken wings, uh-oh, has increased uh, almost doubled. Amen. What you paid for steak has doubled. increased almost doubled. What you paid for vegetables, uh, so everything has begun to increase, but has your salary increased? So I tell the Lord, thank you. For most Americans, for most people, inflation is moving higher uh, than the actual salary of people. Somebody tell the Lord, thank you. Uh, if you haven't experienced it now, uh, you will experience uh, going to the market and going to purchase a vehicle, going to buy a house. Uh, it's going to cost you more in interest rates. It's going to cost you more in the cost than it did before. Somebody tell the Lord thank you. So that a famine hit Egypt. But Joseph was wise. And he talked to the king and said, uh, you got to save. Because uh, it's seven years of prosperity. And after the seven years, it's going to be seven years of famine. Help me, Holy Ghost. What does that mean? In interest rates are going to get higher. The cost of everything is going to be higher. It's going to be more difficult to get food. He told them there was going to be a famine in the land, a lack of food, a lack of material. So I want you to save it up now. Put it in bonds. Put it in silos. Because the people are going to need it. When they can't go and farm, when they can't go and get, they're going to need to go somewhere. Help my Holy Ghost. 
Hallelujah. Ah, glory. You know if you see when the family gets, you can go and drive your vehicle and don't have to worry about the prices so much because you say Hallelujah.
I, I need to see that 12th brother. That was his brother by the same mother, Benjamin. And uh, he brings, so they, they go back to the father, and the father chastises them and says, well, why are you telling that you had another brother? He said, he asked us. Tell you said, except you bring this other brother back, you're not getting, I think it was Reuben. Is it, was it Reuben or Simeon? One of them that they, were, they held back. No, the one that they held back um, in prison until they brought Benjamin. So, so they bring Benjamin back. And eventually, Joseph reveals himself and said, I'm Joseph, your brother. And they're astonished. They don't know what to do. When people do you wrong and you come out and God bless you, then they're astonished. <laughs> they're astonished. He said, I'm Joseph, your brother. Then he says, who you saw to the Egyptian, to the, uh, uh, um, to you who you saw. But he tells him that I don't have any hard feelings. He said, go get, get dad. Go get my father. Bring him back to us. I want him to live here. I want him to take care of him. Oh, that's a great, that's great love. Huh? I not only want to take care of him, I want to take care of you all. He said, it's yet more years to the fan. So, so you need to be here so I can take care of you. You might not have taken care of me. Uh, but I'm going to take care of you. That's love. Love will cover a multitude of faults. What a church choir. Jacob shows up. He has about 80 of his family. Over oh, uh, the, the 400 years after Jacob's death, uh, Lord have mercy. Uh, uh, there's over a million uh, Hebrews, uh, Israelites. Lord have mercy. Uh, all of Joseph's children. Uh, and uh, they're under a pharaoh uh, that is not Joseph, uh, pharaoh. Uh, Lord have mercy. Uh, and they're being afflicted. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, they're being persecuted uh, because uh, uh, of their religion, uh, because of their faith, uh, because uh, their growth uh, and prosperity. Prosperity. But God had a plan for them. God has a plan for you in the midst of your affliction. Many are the affliction of the righteous. But God will deliver you out of the all.
victim's children. Death. 
said, when I see the blood, I'll pass over. That's where the word Passover comes from. And that's what the Jewish people believe and celebrate simultaneously with uh, the Christians. Lord have mercy. Ah, uh, now some 3,000 years have moved forward and we have Christ. Ah, uh, and God saw uh, that we were in prison. We were in Egypt. We were in the Egypt of our minds. We were uh, in sin. We were captive. Lord, I thank you today. Help the Holy Ghost. And God, being God, said, I'm going to send my son, who is a lamb. Lord, have mercy. And he is going to be the sacrifice. Hallelujah. And he's going to preach the word. Uh, but he's going to be uh, crucified uh, and uh, and uh, on the third day he's going to rise uh, help the Holy Ghost uh, uh, but uh, while he's on the cross uh, he's going to believe but the blood uh, when I see the blood uh, for those that are believers I heard the word of God say the three uh, that agree in the earth, uh, the water, uh, the blood, uh, and the spirit, uh, and these three agree in one. Uh, you need the blood, uh, the blood of Christ, the blood uh, of the Lamb.
victorious. Jesus made it so that the victory 